Hello lurkers, hello archaeologists, my name is John Proxy, or at the very least it's, the, it's what I go by on the internet. I'm having a Mist 4 adventure, a revelation adventure, a rev revelatory adventure, uh, and uh, I'm not very far in. We're going to load our game, we're going to resume our game, hope that takes us... Yeah, no, we're going to load our game. Uh... uh and we're going to locate which one is the... Well, it'll be that one there. SG5. It glows. Why? Cool. What What? 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 were we doing? Well, um... I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make it, it... It's been a long day. It's been a Friday. Work. Work, work. You know, this thing. Um... So I'm going to let my brain just uh, soak in the world, remind ourselves. I should go up there. There you go. Oh, what's that? Is that? That's a mask. Masks. Useful. Um. Yes. So once again, we have found ourselves. What well, inside a book? Uh. Can I? Can I go back? Let me go back. It's doing something. There we go, it's going back. I, I don't know why it took a while for it to do that. Oh yes, I've got this puzzle here. Yes, I'm not, I'm not going to guess that anytime soon. Uh, I'm going to need to read something. Probably while I was down here. This book looks particularly interesting to me, but I, I don't have access to the inside. We can tip a tap a tapa on the side of this glass. But it's getting me nowhere. So what's up? Well, we visited uh, old Atrus. His daughter's uh, go well. She's not old, but she's she's, she's not a baby anymore. Uh, so time has passed. Let's say ten years. I don't know. Um, and he was. He was going to do a thing with his sons, who were in space prison, or book prison, I guess. Uh, you know, maybe they were going to get a trial or something. And then so something exploded and he went away. And then I, I, I fiddled about and something else exploded. And now we're here. I'm not entirely sure what purpose this serves, other than the amusement of... The one who touches it. But uh, we'll come back to it. I think I, I, I'm pretty satisfied that I explored this room, to be honest. I'm going to continue looking around. And uh, get the lay of the land. It's been a week since I played this. And uh, it's good to remind ourselves the locations. interesting uh, we have the ability to t take notes you know what I'll just get out another whiteboard we'll need it we'll ne it's it's a missed game we're gonna need a whiteboard probably I know they get easier but Ugh. so I've got a box it's I have people around to inspect the place uh, they they actually only care about like the structure because they're they're selling a house. Um, there you go. I've got whiteboards. Uh, yeah, I could probably Septera Core. That's an interesting shout, John. Hey, right, uh, d d don't worry about what's on the whiteboard, John. We're gonna take a photograph of it, and wipe it clean, so we may use it in, in our adventure. Uh, is there anything in that direction? No. Oh yeah, this is a... This is a Atrus decided. No, I shan't build three bridges. I shall build one and a mechanism. Uh, yes. There's a tunnel down there. Tunnel down there. Go up there. Have a look-see. I don't know what that means, so I'm just going to wipe that immediately off. Um... 
Septa recordings to be written down so no I'll keep Septa recording, it's not taking a lot of space. Uh Oh they like the light. I managed to annoy wait, here's the alphabet. Uh oh yeah we can take photographs in this, which means less whiteboard action. But that doesn't mean there's gonna be no whiteboard action. That's her practicing her name. Um and I, I, it's a fairly obvious thing to take a photograph of, so I'm going to take it for granted that I did. These blue butterfly type animals have been set loose by me. Uh, we know there's a puzzle involving a fireplace. Possibly not this particular fireplace. There's the two sons. Sirius. And Akenar. And uh, whatever the hell this is. Right, um. There's a picture of the family. So, what it says on here right now. Is hide heart. I am gonna make it flash in and out when you reach ups. Oh no, I do know what that means. Okay, cool. That's for the game I'm making. Uh, I can keep that note. I'll figure out a way of keeping that note. Let's continue playing this game that I'm playing, and not the hypothetical one that I'm building. Um, You know what? I really like that everything has different noises at the very least. That's nice and tactile. These guys were just waiting for VR to properly exist, weren't they? Um, we haven't inspected this before. Like... Seems to be on. Oh, hang on. Cool. I don't think we did that last time. Luckily that pot has infinite water in while I figure out what the hell I'm doing. I'm going to look on the other side. Because I would have thought I'd want that off. Go back. Cool, let's turn that back off. See, that's still making... Oh no, it's, it's stopped doing that now. Hmm. Well, it's a thing I can do. What we could do is we could turn it all back on.
take a photograph of it, remind ourselves it's a thing that exists. Turn it all back down. I'm trying to figure out how to write that as like a single word. Basically, I'm making a game, right? And you win levels and I wanted it to... Right now, it constantly says, Oh, you've done five levels. And I kind of want it to flash up and then flash out. Okay, you know what? I'm going to write it down. Just, uh, score heart. Heart. Let's click forwards. Flash. In, out. There we go. Now we have a lot more whiteboard to play with. Uh, if we need it. And uh, I've got a green finger. Uh, cool. Let's... We'll come back here. What's that light over there? It's rather bright. Bright light. Just the place we were. Oh, that was stronger than I was expecting it to be. Actually, there might be a reason for it to be over there. That's the lift. Okay, that's what that does. This place gets music. I have arrived. We checked out this place before, but doesn't mean I knew what to do with it. Ding ding. Some spooky lighting. There we go, we found the rock. Oh, hang on. Shit out of me. Oh, there's a baddie around. <clears throat> huh. Let's take a photograph of that.
There's the two brothers. I'll double check in there. Huh. I'll take another photograph. I'm glad I went back inside. I know how to do lights out. I'm not going to be perfect at it, mind. Maybe I am. Awesome! I like puzzles. That was neat. Uh, I'm going to save my game. Right. SG6. It's your Stargate. It's your Stargate, whatever. Continue. Posterity. So is this a teleporter? What is this? We'll keep walking around. It looks like we're right at the start, but on the other side of a window, maybe? I think that's the start starting room. Uh, yeah, I think I've seen this room from the other direction. And we've got ourselves a travelling ball. Get in the travelling ball. Trying to close the lid again. Oh, hang on. found ourselves two worlds beautiful we'll be unconventional and go right then left 
as it's given us a choice. Where we be? Like a pirate ship. Well, a ship at the very least. A wrecked ship. Did you know there were people called wreckers and they'd uh, you know they'd find crashed ships and they'd, they'd steal all the um, flotsam and jetsam sometimes they'd drown people because like oh no, no there's no owners drowny 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 um, Seems simple before. Okay, uh, that looks to be our way out. If we want one. So I'm guessing. No, I'm, I'm not quite getting that. You're not quite Brad Dorif, but we'll make do. I do appreciate the actual plot in the game. Somebody done broke it. Crab. Seems a bit snippy. You what game? <gasps> dun 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 dun. Was a crab of exposition. This kind of crab. Apart from Carabas, a crab. Carabas, whatever. Go in the other direction.
Okay, I saw steps then. I will back out and then go towards the steps. Uh, there. That's my tea. Bit cold. These things always take me longer than I think they do. I'll go towards the ship first. Hang on. Down the rope bridge. Rope steps, whatever. Going on. Oh, that's just my game back up. Never mind. Uh, let's go for in then. Got this token for. Oh, hang on. Maybe I should have wrote that down. I'm hoping it's not going to one off information like that, but. You never know. Why is it giving me a close up of this Skellington? Oh, because of this. Let's uh, continue this way. Do I have to go back before I go forwards? Towards the ship. And the crab. No, it's multiple crabs. I was saying hello to the first one. I assumed the rest of them would, you know, take the greeting as well. Calabas, crab. I think that's the way up. Oh, hello. Ow! Ow! I almost got him. Could be quick. Evidently, they're better than uh, fishing than I am.
it did the thing I expected it to do. I'm just not entirely sure why. Oh, there's a box that's been moved. Let's go check it out. show there. Wait, hang on. I'll wait for the bird to land and then wheel it up. Right, it's not doing anything. I have lost control of the game. I'm moving, moving the cursor about. I hope it's auto saved. Hmm, that's odd. Oh, I've just, I've lost control. Okay, I think I just, I'm going to save my game because I'm nervous. But I think I've got control back now. I think that's just some old game weirdness. Yeah, that's not how you spell.
Huh. It's a different puzzle than I'm used to in a Myst game. I wish there was weight to it when I pulled, like, there's obviously heft, but it goes warmth really quickly. There we go, we've got the lift working. Beautiful. Hmm. Didn't even see that. Why did you bring me here again? Maybe there's different floors? Doesn't seem to be different floors, does there? I'm not. They both did the same thing, that's odd.
guessing I need to put something in that. Skip them. That doesn't let me. There we go, lovely. I have no idea I had no idea that's what I was trying to achieve. But um we, yeah, we managed it nonetheless. Let's save our game. Hmm. Hello. Uh SG one uh eight. By the day Sadly, was a few weeks. A uh, few weeks ago, it was a few days ago, wasn't it? Uh, a couple of days ago. Not pirate day. Damn. Because it would have been fitting. Gar. Um, I'll I'll stop that though. Sacrilegious to do a pirate accent not on pirate day. Um. This might not be a pirate ship, it could be uh, yeah, a, a, a marine vessel. Whatever they have in this world. Something I expect. Okay, I don't know why it does that. Uh, that's, it's, that's just a odd behaviour on the game's part. I can fix it though by Alt tabbing and then go back in the game. There you go, just sort of forgets my hand exists. It's very odd. Um, anyway. This is where we came from, isn't it? Or is this a place we can go? Let's go down. I do like the idea of making a base of operations out of a, a sideways ship. 
in this direction. Lots of interesting things here. Okay, there's a place to go. Oops. Took back accidentally. Didn't want to do that. Let's go back over there. There's a table of neat stuff, isn't there? Apparently not. So it's occasionally a little odd what this game decides to let you focus on and what not. Uh, I saw a magnifying glass for a brief second there. Where were you? We all understand. Um, we are. We all have an understanding of what is going on in this particular location. That's good. It's nice. Uh, we're all in the same place. In terms of <laughs> what we know. What are you talking about, John? I don't know. I, I was doing a thing, and then I didn't know where to go with it. Uh, more bones. Bone chimes. Okay, green smoke was a bad idea. Do not drug yourself with the green smoke. Uh, it's not gonna help. Oh. Uh, some tools. Game seemed to ver like me looking at these. Oh, there we go. The uh, the amulet. Sound like a pleasant chap. Leave the screen. Right, if in doubt. Uh XG nine green means. Green for madness. Bed for greed. Right, yes, if in doubt, take more drugs. If we take drugs and then go somewhere. Hmm, perhaps. Maybe there's more pl like I feel like we didn't explore the other side of this place. So I might leave this place and come back. Because we can get back here. We'll double check there isn't another route here. There is another route here. I found more crabs. Crabs are a good sign. Oh! Sh Hello?
I guess I can't get past you. Oh, I didn't. I'm sorry. You're a friendly bird. I'm gonna scare them away. Really? Ooh. Uh, I will answer, but I've done it. I've put a flag up. Are we going to tip the boat over? Um, I, I still haven't done a lot. Uh, so the bit I'm doing, working on right now, and there's a reason why it's going a bit slowly, and part of that is just because I've not been doing it, is um, working on the snails. Uh, and the snail. There's some complex behavior I need the snail to be able to do. Um, so the snail. Uh, hang on. I can do a thing. Do a thing. Give me a second. Let's. Let's uh, alt. Test the window, okay, it won't, won't be very long. Uh, I'll exp Do I have, okay, paint is not showing, cool. Let's quickly load up paint. And open up. This one. And if I press a smaller, right. Unfortunately, no, I can just move this, it's fine. I'll try not to take too long to do this. Is this going to work? Like, uh, yellow? Cool, that's not yellow, but... Right, uh... So, uh... Anyone on the channel... People are, we're here for mist. I'll be very quick. I'll be very, uh, I'll, I will go back to mist. Um, so we have the snail. Uh, and the snail can travel around like that. That works absolutely fine. It can travel in either direction. If you're standing on top of a snail and it goes that way, it's going to notice that you're going to, crush your head against the uh, ceiling and turn direction. You can ride the snail by the way, I should have probably mentioned that. That's kind of important. So you can ride the snail uh, but it's going to go up there and stop and turn around or you can go up there and it will stop and turn around so it'll keep doing that U shape. I'm going to program a second impolite snail that just shoves you off and keeps going the same direction. Anyway, that's all working absolutely fine. There's also uh, and I guess this is there's a second material. Uh, I call it glamour. And let's say there's a shimmer of glamour there. Uh, there we go. Well, that's what glamour looks like. Uh, I can go through. I can travel through the glamour. Fine, but the snail can't. Which means the snail is now going to take this route instead. Meaning that if you're riding the snail, you're not going to bump your head on the ceiling. There's a bit where the snail won't travel, but you, but you can. That's what the glamour's for. That's working fine as well. Now, the snail is solid. And this is sort of the main gimmick of the game. I can take out that solid heart. Uh, and so far, in the simpler levels, you can put that, I don't know, in a, like a cloud. And make it a solid cloud. Meaning that you can jump on the cloud and jump upwards. But the snail's a more complex object. So let's say you take this... You... Uh, you you uh, make the snail unsolid. So this wall, the solid wall that the snail was suddenly climbing up, it can't because it's not solid. However, let's say I've actually surrounded this entire area with this orange glamour. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that the snail is no not solid anymore. It's still going to take that route because an unsolid snail 
Glamour stops everything from moving apart from the player. Even if it doesn't have any solidness, it should do that. And uh, this, 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 this doesn't quite work yet. This is where I'm at. I can actually take the heart away and it'll go do, 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 and then get really confused about, about here uh, and sort of get confused. Uh, and that seems like it won't actually be that difficult to solve. I've just been a bit lazy. The other thing I want to do... Yeah, I'm hoping there's the worry about puzzle games where you're like, I'm going to design this complex object and then hope that I can make puzzles out of this afterwards. Um, the other thing I want to do, of course, is what if that isn't glamour? What if that is a solid wall and the glamour is actually up here, uh, for instance? Well, if I remove the heart while the snail is on this bit, it's just going to continue walking around like that. But if I remove the heart while the snail is up here, well now the snail it'd be a, it'd be an upside down snail. The snail wouldn't be attached to anything. So the snail should fall. And let's say, for instance, that's not glamour either. That's a solid floor. And the actual glamour is down here instead. It means I can move the snail from one plane to another. That's how I can design puzzles. Uh, so that's the next thing I've got to build. Uh, I'm Graphically speaking, I'm just going to make the head disappear while it falls. Uh, so it can be in any rotation and it will just stop clockwise uh, or anti-clockwise. Yes, hopefully uh, it has all been future-proofed. Uh, I'm now going to delete this and get back to Mist because there might, I'm assuming there might be a couple of people here who, who came to watch me play Mist. Um, I'm going to save that as well. Uh, but yes, that's the plan. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing quite well. It's, it, this, this, there's the snail and there's the crab. Uh, the crab uh, just goes... It flo crab flows like water. It walks left and right. If there's a place that it can fall down, it's going to go downwards. Um, but I'm going to need for them to work on ramps uh, they share the same shell and p potentially they might be able to turn a crab into a snail that's why that's why the snail has a sort of weird shell because I wanted the crab and sn snail to have the same thing uh, anyway yes I, 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 yeah, I've actually got quite a lot done but like not as much as if I was properly working on it uh, let's uh, turn mist back on uh, anyway <laughs> for anyone who came from mist uh, let's get rid of the snail as well. Um, uh, yes, that's why I like puzzle games. Uh, we've managed to get a a flag. I'll be right back. I'm going to let you look at that flag. I'm going to be like two minutes because I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. So I've earned one. It's, it's Friday. I can have a cup of tea. Let's go crazy. I'm going to have a gin. It's been a while since I've had a gin. No, I shouldn't have gin. Because, uh, oh, I forgot to do a thing. Yes, of course. I, I just need to... I've, I, I've forgotten. Oh, that's very nice. <coughs> All right, let's stop baffing. Put our tea closer to us. And play some goddamn mist, shall we? Before I scare off anyone else. All you lurkers. Right, uh, let's have a look at this. Just in case. A map. Cool. Oh, it's this. Lots 
box my path. I get it. Cool. Found a map. Let's go into the jungle then. Jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Gonna take you take you to your shanananananananamis. Uh that's not a thing I uh can easily say apparently. I thought I <laughs> I thought I was gonna be able to do it. Shanananan but I can't, I just can't do it. Uh that sort of fast. Do all the speed. Sort of a weird mechanism that you have to do that again, but whatever. Seems to we can set it up again pretty easily. Some more crabs, Calabas, the crab. Crabs are fun. Uh, which way? I swear I'll, there was a route that didn't go. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Back up there, for instance. There seems to be a lot down here. Hmm. It's a nice view actually. The view. Show you map. Right. There's the X. That direction. There are four creatures. Like an imp. But I, I don't know. It looks like a map to me. It's not terribly useful to me, which is a worry. That would make sense if I had my camera out, but I don't, so... Huh. I'm assuming this is for plotting your route. Oh, hang on. Yes. Cool. Didn't see this bit.
Well, that was very exciting. Hello, monkey. Sure, I'm glad that I got a photograph of a map. I'm gonna use it. No, I'm just gonna point. Oh, well. We need a landmark. We should save our game though. We're in the jungle, baby. We're gonna die. Now, I'll play smart. Let's assume that that is the creature on the top right hand corner. Then, I want to turn around, follow the right wall. Back to where I found the monkey, basically. Yeah, I don't know which way is forward and which way is backwards. Another landmark. That is a landmark. Hear this? You hear it? Well, just try and get past this gate now, you thieving Carnax. Ain't no way they'll figure out which holes to put the hammers in. I'm not seeing any hammers to put in holes. It's kind of weird because, like, generally, uh, this isn't a game that requires you to be holding items. Either I've got to cause the hammers to appear or they're already nearby and I just haven't seen how to control them. I'm not seeing how to interact with this.
and ourselves a chocobo. Seeing a chocobo on the map. Hear something. I'm going to keep wondering about. It's a trap. Just seeing if I can interact with it. We're not trapped. Continue searching the jungle. I'm actually now going to follow the right wall. Which I mean might just take me back to where I was, but. Hard to tell what is the right wall, to be honest. This is promising. Oh, we know what the green gas is made out of. Am 
Reminds me of Pathologic. Okay, there was this first totem, and it looked like the symbol from Bleach. The anime Bleach, not the liquid. Oh, well that's helpful. We can teleport to those locations. Um, I think that's all that means. We can save and test it. Keep following the right wall. Is this the door again? Oh, I'm hearing monkeys. Found our, found our way to the monkey section. Is this where we fell? Being able to take notes again. I was looking for the map though, wasn't I?
Yeah. So, monkeys, so top left is the way out, I guess. This the map is not terribly useful for actually finding anything. I don't actually know what I'm trying to achieve. This is new. Monkeying about. Cool. Just stumbled upon a new place. It's going to take me like, a really long time to find that uh, door again. It's faded my uh, thing out of existence. Just gotta quickly uh, turn it off and back on again. Cool. If I didn't, if I wasn't lost before, I certainly am now. Uh, let's go that direction. I might want to investigate that, but. For the time being, a five hand wall. We have a place, a human place. Lots of scratches. I wonder why. Don't care how nimble finger they are. They're not going to get in when I'm away. Trying to get to. I think it's a fairly obvious windy thing there, and he just won't go to that. He walked past it. You'd think he'd stop before it. Oh, like a little turny thing. Not interesting to me, buddy. In a game entirely like built around turning thingies. Bit of an odd choice. That grabby thing? Nah, not interested in it. Okay, feels like the thing you're usually interested in, stranger. Why can't I access that? Oh, 
Are the two books the two brothers? Let me access this goddamn thing. It's like a ship steering wheel. Why would he not walk over to that corner? Go over there. I mean, I know it's not the solution to the puzzle, but like, you'd you'd look over there, wouldn't you? Would you not? Oh, the side of this mechanism, not interesting to me. I swear I pressed that a second ago, but whatever. to walk away and walk back walk to the obviously interesting thing game I, it's just out of my reach clearly there's nothing of interest here Why are you not interested in this thing? It's it's. I'm not playing. Uh, well, no. Um. Like it's that it, the game seems to refuse to acknowledge there's an interesting object here. The way in or the way out. It's 
the way I came. Okay, there's a bit I've not seen then. Have a totem. Gracious. Noble. Cautious. Stupid. Stupidity. Gracious, heard that before now. Gracious. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Can you say it again, game? Gracious. Noble. Noble. Cautious. Cautious. Okay. Sounds like a code to me. Okay, maybe it'll work now that I've seen that vision. sake Ugh. that symbol there Not seen all the terms from yet. This is the figure eight.
Go look for totems. So if we look at the map, oh, I've lost the cursor. Right, so if we look at the map, so we have uh, four creatures. I'm assuming we have four totems. So we're going to name the four creatures Gracious, Noble, Cautious, and Stupidity. Now, this wouldn't solve a puzzle in Riven. Because Riven had like four or five layers of abstraction, but I don't think this game is going to do that. I think this game is happy with three layers of abstraction. It's quite a lot still. Hang on, is it three layers? Because you've got to understand the heat. Anyway, there's four of those, there's four words, there's four sigils, right? There's five. You can't see one of them. So we have what looks like, I'm going to call them. Monkey uh, a, a Chocobo, I guess a Dino uh, a Flying a Tiger and whatever that bottom left one is Hmm. I mean, we could probably guess which. I mean, one of them's gracious, one of them's noble, one of them's cautious, one of them's stupid. Bit judgmental. Um. Yeah, I. I. No, I'm gonna use monkey. Monkey is a really obvious one. I'm gonna have to come up. With a I'm gonna say monkey tiger. I called it Chocobo, didn't I? Chocobo. And other. We'll rename other. Um, and I'm going to assume if we go back to the totems, we're going to have a nearby creature. In fact, the totem's probably going to be shaped like it now that I think about it. So we'll be able to associate the three things together. We have an order. Uh, so, yeah. We're all kind of cautious. Let's go to that totem though <laughs> I don't know what to call that please get out of my way I mean, it could. Hmm. I 
I went the wrong way, I think. I'm in the jungle! I'm quite tired. I may have to leave you pretty quickly. But I think I've got an idea of what this puzzle is. So, Minnie. If you were to um, describe this creature here. Would you say... Would you say it was gracious, noble, cautious, or stupid? Cautious. Let's, we'll, we'll go for cautious for the time being, because... Yeah, sure. You know what? I'm going to call it an elk. Uh, I think that's... We're going to call... We're going to say the elk... Is the infinity symbol. Because it's his... This totem right here. And we're going to say... They are cautious. Ooh. Uh, if we look at the map, every so often because I lose the, the, the thing uh, the elk elk I, I don't have a mouse cursor elk is the bottom right if I leave and follow the right wall I'll come across the tiger uh, I want to follow the left wall then I'm going to leave and follow the left wall So leaving is the uh, actually There's those things. You How that helps me. Okay, so we know uh, we're going to just tell ourselves that this symbol here, the, the triad symbol, what I'm going to call it, it's in the field of wheat. And if I think for a second, I should be able to remember which creature it is. We can sort of see it's got the claws. Um, but honestly, I don't remember. Uh, oh no, don't delete. Oh, I accidentally deleted it because I'm a fool. Right. Oh, I'm at the totem. I oh, see, I don't think they are that cautious because they let me walk right up to them. But then they get frightened when I poke them. I might put it as stupid. However, I'll go with quarters first.
Oh, I don't want to go that way. Maybe I'm stupid. Judging these elks. Get out of my way, you. I'm going to follow the left wall. That would explain the map, because the map is really not useful for getting about. Okay. Still don't know how to use this. Oh, I see. He's not talking about this gate. He's talking about the one I just left. I don't know what's up with that, though. Anyway, I'll keep going around. It's nice to see the right next to each other. There's a chocobo. Oh, the animals seem kind of cautious. I definitely wouldn't describe a monkey as stupid, though. Look at the monkey! The noble monkey. Maybe I would describe them as gracious. You know what? Monkey did save me. I'm going to say the monkey is gracious. That's a gracious thing to do. He greeted me when I fell down. Oh, hang on. Oh, so I didn't mean to poke you. I mean, I did mean the second time, but I didn't mean it in a mean way. Oh, I, no, I'm not. I didn't. Do you want fruit? Did I solve this situation? I'm trying to be confused about what happened there, but... I was in the monkey section. Alright. Chocobo. The monkey's taught me a trick. Thanks, monkeys. I don't know what to do with that trick, but I... Okay, yeah, we walk back to the door. Okay, I'm going to walk away and back again. See if I can give the monkey some fruit. Oh, 
I learned it from you. Okay. Hmm. It's a it's a very confusing game. Um, uh, Mist is uh, an absurdly esoteric game. But with enough patience, it can be conquered. Unless it's driven. If it's driven, I just cheat. Okay, this is where we crashed our parachute. And getting around in the jungle is incredibly confusing as well, but... There are a bunch of totems around here. Okay, well there's one around here, so look, we'll get this one. So this is the bird section. I'm going to call it a patera. I know you don't pronounce the T in pterodactyl. Um, now, pterodactyls have access to this thing which is like a drug that makes the world fuzzy which I wouldn't call noble uh, but right now we're more interested in uh, the totem hang on we know which totem this is we're going to confirm the totem. I'm going to find it. Okay, I think I've misread that first totem, because this totem is clearly too great. <laughs> it's one thing sitting on top of another thing. That's what totems are. Ugh. But it's in the terror section. I'm gonna give it the, the try the Trinity shape. You get the uh, Zelda symbol. Right, uh, I should take a photo of that again. I think I accidentally deleted the photo. Because it, it looks like a creature on top of another creature, doesn't it? That would be the tiger, and that would be... I mean, it could be a monkey. <laughs> it's a little abstract, but... Uh, did we... Take a picture of the other totem? No, not, not not far back enough to actually make what was on it out. Um, either way, we've got to collect all four symbols anyway. And it's in the Patera section. If we look at the map...
So yeah, we clearly go through the monkey section. Hmm. Well, there's there's clearly two more totems, so let's continue walking around. The map has just not been helpful for me to getting about. But I've seen at least one more of the totems. Who the who the ship counts? The ship gave me the map. I'm not a massive fan of it being a huge maze. Hmm. I think this puts me back in the monkey section. There seems to be a puzzle with monkeys. Okay, so what I just did was I walked into a place, walked out, and then immediately walked back in again. As you do. You know what? I am. I'm going to go back to the beginning. Hmm. Climb up here, see if there's anything we missed from the start. Oh, that's the hole I wanted to see. One, we can leave this place. Some acting in case you wanted to see some some of that. Okay, I have that takes me to okay so I do I have a little bit of a teleport if I want so we might not even be double check so this was a puzzle I had to put two uh, cannonballs in that, and I had to put a couple of cannonballs in that one to keep the weight correct. So I can wind that up, use that to counterbalance this, but it needs to be strong enough for this and the cannonballs that I'm carrying. Shut off. Access the rest of the ship. The hotel. 
galleon. With all these riches, these useless riches. There's no harm in me double checking this area, is there? Like now I've returned, it might make more sense to me. Oh yeah, well we didn't take a picture of this. This kind of seems important. Uh, right, it's paw prints next to... What leaves that paw print? What? No, it's paw print next to the food they eat? So that's the monkey, and monkey like fruit. I get that. Monkey like fruit. And then I don't understand that. <laughs> any any of this. Anyway, we've taken a picture of this, so that's good. That's probably important for something. It's good that we came back here. Get high. Uh, I just had one of these attached to it. I am the hunter. You're the hunted, not the other way around, you disappearing freak. You'll pay for this, my friend. You and every one of your stinking kind. I'm just going to take the drugs quickly and then look at the blood sheet that I didn't see before. Okay, it's not it's not helped, but <laughs> well, at least we have drugs. It's extremely easy in a game like this to just not click on an important object. One of the one downside. Maybe not one downside, but one of potential issues these games have. Maybe it's actually the other way round. I'm supposed to be looking at it from everything's reversed. Oh look, there's the trap. Okay, if I teleport away, it'll probably undo that. It doesn't. It won't let me teleport. So as far as I can tell, even though I can totally see a thing there, I need to count away to go up so we can leave again. Second. Oh, hang on. Did miss something. Treasure. Hmm. 
That guy just described all of mist. Candle on a skull, classic. Is that a blasted linking book? Oh. There we go. Where's the blasted linking book? Where the hell is Cirrus? Right, uh, let's. This is going to make things easier. It's called uh, a Zephyr, it's an herbivore. We'll read through this probably at some point. Not today. I'm getting quite tired. But um, if we, there's a mangri at an omnivore, and you can see it's fruit it likes. There's a camadile. It's a predator, and a zephyr, and a herbivore. Here's the puzzle I was trying before. I think. Oh no, yeah, that that's the way up. That's cannonball. I've already solved that, and you know that game. I wouldn't have seen the book otherwise. But it's Karnak, that bloody scavenger. I was of a dangerous age. And a giant thing. We've not seen yet the size possible. Right. Well, I'm going to leave this as a cliffhanger. We have some proper reading to do. Hopefully, he'll give me some insight on how he feels about these different animals. Uh, we've got some notes to keep as well, just in case I lose them. Uh, so what I'm going to do very quickly. Uh, well, yeah, that's from the wrong game. So we're going to change these notes to gracious, noble, hang on, I'll do it, I guess. Noble, cautious. <laughs> I can't spell cautious and stupid. Uh, we also have. Uh, I'm going to still call it monkey. Monkey, tiger, uh, elk. And I'm going to say inf infinity. I'm going to say Patera and that's going to be uh, Trinity uh, and somewhere we have the bleach symbol uh, okay some notes for us for next time they're on my whiteboard as well. But you know what? It's nice not having them on hand. Um, we've got some... Uh, have we got some reading to do? Uh, we have some bloody... Uh, what what they call totems to find in a, in a forest. And I'm a bit too tired to go around searching right now, I'm afraid. Uh, next, uh, we're going to be playing this next Friday. And I'm going to try and start earlier. I don't, People don't really start turning up until really late. But... It, if I start earlier than the boring work of me doing what, you know, searching around a goddamn jungle uh, is is, is uh, going to be hopefully done. Yes. Thank you for watching this. It's a... Uh... Oops. That doesn't matter. Um... Yes. I've been John Proxy. I've been having... A mist four. Get out of the way, snail. The noble snail. 
mystical adventure. Keep watching.